What is a going on YouTube? It's a Mia, Slick Jackson the Italian Jesus. Not even five seconds into the video and I already want to blow my brains out. So, Zoom meetings, huh? Seems to be with the office guys used for work these days to talk to each other while the C-Virus rages on. Pretty soon we'll be using VR headsets because them's the future. Why do you need a VR headset to attend a meeting you could just use your computer for? Shut up, Wagey. Old Zuckerberg needs his dough. Better start buying up them Oculus Rifts, huh? I haven't used Zoom. I don't need to. I've said it like a hundred times on this channel. I'm a warehouse employee. Video conferences, we don't exactly do those. I get paid to put stuff in boxes and then move said boxes to a truck. I don't get paid to have tea time in front of a camera. What I'm trying to say here is I don't really understand how Zoom works, right? But from what I've heard, it seems pretty vulnerable to some pretty bad actors. Got a name. Apparently it's called Zoom bombing. I don't really know how it works, but I suppose it's when people go into a Zoom call that they're not supposed to be in and they just cause a ruckus, which is... Uh, it's certainly what happened with the Senate over in Italy. I'm sure you've heard about now. Basically, someone hacked into a Zoom call where some Italian politicians were doing some politicking. I'm guessing everyone in the government are like the old top boomers, I suppose people call them. Don't really understand internet security, so I guess they didn't know how to properly manage the app. Side note, anyone else find it weird that the Italian government's using Zoom of all things? I don't know, I feel like a national government would, I guess, commission someone to build a secure website where they can have their meetings instead of Zoom. I don't know. So some guy named Alex Spence somehow got into the call and began to play some uh, adult content regarding Final Fantasy, specifically around the character of uh, the dame called Tifa. And in the video she was getting, well I guess the kids call it absolutely railed. I'll uh, play the audio for you I guess, obviously I can't show it but uh, if you're curious here's the sound. Ai risultati della ricerca medica e scientifica insieme alla loro repentina accessibilità e alla loro affidabilità non è così grazie a tutti c'è una persona che si è introdotta in maniera scusate and then after that display, I guess they also played some Genshin Impact content. So, uh, yeah, I think it speaks for itself. I think it's a mildly humorous situation. And, you know, I'm not like the porn top. I'm not really into adult content, mainly just because I don't really have the time for it. But, you know, on a level, I really think you gotta respect the stunt that this got pulled. I mean, you're on the national stage, all eyes on you. You're at the forefront of Italian politics. You could show anything. You could have sent any message, maybe plugged in your socials, do a little self-promotion, right? But instead of doing all that, you show Final Fantasy porn because it's a funny goof. Look, man, I gotta give credit where credit's due. That's ballin'. Whoever did that, you are an absolute baller. So, that's the lowdown on that. Not really much to say about it. It's just real funny. And, well, I guess it gives something for them not safe for work artists to capitalize on. Get some of that Patreon money, you know what I'm saying? The next thing up on the chopping block, I'm sure you all know that the M&M's brand has, like, these characters they use in their commercials. They all have, like, a different personality, all that stuff. Well, they're making some big changes now. M&M's are making the green M&M less attractive, I guess. Less attractive. Now that makes me scratch my head. Who in their right mind finds an anthropomorphic chocolate candy attractive? I mean, it's a big world, I guess. You know, 7 billion people. I suppose there's gotta be at least some, but I don't know. I can't say I've ever went head over heels for a candy mascot. Found this article on CBS News on the matter. M&M's iconic characters, six different colored lentils, each with their own personality, have gotten a modern makeover for a more dynamic, progressive world, Mars said Thursday. What, is a progressive issue now? What exactly does making a goddamn piece of candy less attractive, quote unquote, solve? Yeah, the green M&M being sexy, that was the one thing holding women all around the world back. You know, I feel like this is what happens with them social justice warriors. Do they still use that term, by the way? It feels outdated. I don't know, this is what happens when them social justice warriors ain't got nothing to complain about. They take away all the good looking dames in media, you know? They take away all the good looking women in video games. Now they ain't got nothing else to get up in arms over, so they'll try to rile people up over candy. Candy, dude. The most notable changes include the green M&M's redesign, which will exchange the white-heeled go-go boot she was given in 1997 for a cool laid-back sneakers to reflect her effortless confidence. Wow, you changed the shoes. Really broke the bank on that one, didn't you? The green M&M will also be better represented to reflect confidence and empowerment as a strong female and known for much more than her boots. I've seen a bunch of them M&M commercials. I never really noticed her boots. I don't know. I swear, man. I feel like companies do the weirdest stuff to seem progressive these days. Like, 
Nestle saw all those companies like doing all this stuff to make themselves seem like they care about them marginalized groups said man I think we ought to get ourselves in on that all the while lacking the self-awareness to realize that these are literally just pieces of candy I don't think anyone cares about the symbolism behind them the green M&M and the brown M&M will have a much more friendly relationship showcasing a force supporting woman that's right woman of the human race from now on you will be represented by anthropomorphic M&Ms how does that make you feel empowered right I can't with this dude. The two characters dynamic will have them together thrown shine and not shade, the company said. The two characters have sometimes been at odds in the advertisement, but they've also been seen as friends or more than friends than others, like in this viral tweet from 2015 showing the two holding hands on a beach. Oh Jesus, let me guess. Down the line, Nestle's gonna make him like lesbian. Dude, imagine if that happened. It would set gay rights back by decades. The queers would have to go back to their closets, man. I don't know, I'm just stunned by this whole ordeal. I'm not sure if this has the look that Nestle wants it to have. Like, all this talk about female empowerment and representation is like they're candy. Who cares if they're inclusive or not? Well, Tucker Carlson from Fox News seems to care a lot. Brown Eminem has, quote, transitioned from high stilettos to lower block heels. Also less sexy. That's progress. Eminems will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. Until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. Jesus, Tucker, getting real heated over, uh, m and mascots. Is there, uh, something you want to say? Maybe you got a kink you got behind the scenes. I don't know, man. It's a clown world we're living in. Luckily, you got people like me who laugh at it with you. Yeah, that's right. World's burning, economy's hurting, and no one wants to have sex with the green M&M anymore. And we're all just laughing at it, man. Having a good time as the world crumbles to pieces. I love this time period, man. In any case, that's all I've got for this shtick. So, you do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.